a very hard job or you're not just a mom could be a dad could be a parent anybody that has a the first and foremost role is taking care of someone else um, you know first and foremost I'm a wife and I'm a mother and then second I am a business owner so it's really really hard um, sometimes to balance all of that I've talked a lot about balancing I've talked a lot about organization but one thing that I haven't talked about is things that I've implemented into my personal life that has helped my business life. So this month, I've given you guys 15 tips that have I have found um, helped me to be more creative, to have a better home life, and just to have a sense of balance and a sense of peace. Um, it's hard when we're at home, we're thinking about business, and when we are you know, at, at working or at a wedding, or we're thinking about home. Um, so these are things that I have found um, through a lot of heartache and through a lot of, of hardships that I have found that work and um, lead to a happier life. First and foremost, I think that you have to take care of yourself. I think that, that if you enjoy working out, if that is your stress relief, whatever your stress relief is, if, if it's another type of art, um, or if it's reaching out to friends and meeting up with friends for lunch. I think that those are things important that um, we need to still do. Even though we have a role of a mom you know, and, and business owner, I think those are things that are still very important to our overall health and our overall life. And I think that if we have those things that are nourishing and are feeding us, um, it'll carry over into our business. We're, we're a happier person and you know, and a lot of photography is selling yourself. And if you are happy, then that's going to portray to your clients and that's going to be an overall better experience for everyone. Um, you know, I talked a little bit about working out in there. Working out for me is, is my time to release. It's my time to clear. And if I feel good inside, it feels like it carries over to all of my businesses. Um, I think the hardest part of being a mom and a photographer is uh, being a photographer is not just that day of it's everything in between and it's hard to disconnect from everything all the social media and Everything and goodness you get on Pinterest and you see all these things and I call Pinterest the worst place to go for um, for motivation um, It's the best place to go for inspiration, but you go there and you, you compare yourself Oh my gosh, look at these moms are doing and look at all these end-of-the-year class projects and you start comparing yourself, you know, of thinking this is all the things that I don't have that I want to have. So I think that you have to limit yourself and even, you know, looking at other photographers work, you have to limit yourself. Um, you are who you are and um, that, that is what makes you unique and you special and all those projects, it's great to find inspiration and to do things, but, um, you know, don't think, oh, I wish I had that. Or I wish I had that or you want this, go for it. So um, just do all of that in moderation. And I think that you know finding balance and finding peace between everything um, makes your home life happier and it makes your business flourish more. So, and I know that it's, it's not easy to do. It's really not. It's, it's when I first started my business, I was editing, you know, kids would get in bed and then I would edit at night and it would take away from my, you know, husband and wife time, the times that we, we like to watch movies or, or whatever. So finding you know, ways to outsource and to ways to implement and get help, and I talked about a lot about this in the article. Um, and, and do you have a hobby? Do you have some, something that you enjoy doing beyond photography? I challenge you to, to try that, to pick that up. I think that it will help your photography and it'll help challenge um, yourself in a different way and it'll help your entire life. So I hope this wasn't you know something that was too, not, not neat enough, but I feel like as moms, we struggle, you know, when we're working, we feel like, should we be at home with our kids? And when we're, we're at home with our kids, we're thinking, should we be working? And I think that balancing those two is, is everything. And I think when you can find that, you can find happiness. Um, I know that my personality, I am a better mom if I work. I'm a more efficient mom and a more efficient wife if I work. So just finding out what works for you and um, setting out action steps and goals and I hope that you can take one of these tips and apply it to your own life and it can help um, you be more in tune with your family or be more in tune with your business.